Welcome to Northwest Air Guns. I'm John. And what do you do when your pumper doesn't pump anymore? No air going in. Um, this is a Benjamin 312, but uh, you know this happens with the Sheridans and uh, Crossman pump ups. Any of them that at some point they may not pump up anymore. So what do you do when that happens? Well, you could uh, send it in and have it rebuilt professionally, in which case it comes back to you basically uh, to factory specs and everything will work and uh, be like it should. You can do it yourself. You can buy a kit and get a tool and take it apart. And we've got videos on how to do that. Um, but there's another option and that is the alcohol flush. And no, we're not going to drink the alcohol, but uh, the idea is to uh, flush whatever debris or uh, goop or grease or whatever's in the compression chamber and on the seals, flush it out of the system so that uh, it'll be free to operate as it should. And I don't see the alcohol flush as a really a long-term solution but it could, in the short run at least, get you your uh, pumper back. As far as I can tell, there's no downside. In other words, you're not going to hurt anything by doing the alcohol flush, and it might help. So might, might as well give it a try first. doesn't uh, require any tools, uh, and it's pretty inexpensive to do. All you need is some alcohol, and this is... Uh, 91% isopropyl alcohol. I think I got this from the hardware store. And a syringe or some means of getting alcohol into the air hole here on the bottom of the tube. Now, I'm not an expert on the alcohol flush. Uh, matter of fact, this is an experiment for me to see if it'll do any good. Uh, but I have read about it online on the internet. And I don't know that there's any particular method. Um, some guys seem to put the alcohol in and pump and sit there all day long and do that until it starts pumping up. Other people uh, put some alcohol in and set it in the corner uh, upright like that and then try it the next day and maybe they do that for two or three days and at some point it starts to kick in on the... Uh, pumping. So I don't know that there's a right way or a wrong way to do it as long as you get alcohol flushing through the system. If you've done it and it worked, um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about what your process was and, and uh, what the result was. So we're going to go ahead and put some alcohol in here and uh, set it in the corner overnight and see what happens. So I'm not sure that there's any particular way to do this as long as you get uh, alcohol into the system. Some people put it here ahead of the pump cup, right in the, uh, oil, in the air hole. Uh, some people put it in behind the pump cup and again set it in the in a corner upright and let the alcohol migrate hopefully into the uh, compression chamber. We're going to do both. So I put some oil here into a pill bottle just to make it easier to get to. I have a syringe, but uh, you know any method that gets the alcohol into the hole, you know, it doesn't have to be a syringe, it could be anything really. We're putting, this is one and a half cc's. Put that right in there ahead of the pump cup. And then we'll put some behind the pump cup here. I'm kind of padding my bet here that between the uh, stuff in front of the pump cup and the stuff behind it, we'll be able to get some to migrate down into the compression tube. Okay, now we just close it up. 
and we're going to set it uh, in the corner upright like this and see what it uh, does. We'll check in tomorrow morning on it. So see you in the morning. Well, all right, day two, actually day three of our alcohol flush. Uh, wasn't able to get to it yesterday, so we're going to try it again. It sat for two days over in the corner with alcohol in the compression, in the uh, pump tube. We'll see if it made any difference here. Well, I'll be darned, we're getting something. It feels like it's pumping up. Let me get something to shoot into here. Huh. So you can tell we got some compression. We got uh, not a lot of gunk coming out yet. Sometimes, uh, from what I read, there's all kinds of goop and debris and grease and all kinds of crazy things uh, when you first uh, get the alcohol to flush through. Uh, but this one's not too bad. So we are getting compression way better than it was the other day. It's, it's pushing back, which tells me uh, the check valve may not be fully uh, seated, but now that we're getting compression, we can go ahead and do another set with the alcohol, pump it into the uh, compression chamber and see if that makes a difference. Day two or day three, whatever you want to call it, Put a couple of cc's in here and see if we can get some of that into the compression chamber this time. Oops. Okay, so some of that is definitely going into the uh, compression chamber. We'll go ahead and put some behind the pump cup again, like we did last time. And then we'll set it in the corner, upright, for another day, and see what kind of a difference a day makes here. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, here we are, this is day three. We've gone through two uh, courses of alcohol and sitting the gun in the corner. And it pumps up. And works. Now, the other thing to check at this point pumps up pretty hard actually. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so you see the uh, pump arms coming up. And it'll come up until the pump cup gets a, above the air hole. But that tells you that um, this is more than just a headspace adjustment, that air is actually coming back out of the, uh, uh, past the check valve here. So you can pump it, you can shoot it, um, and maybe if you keep that closed, the air won't get past the uh, pump cup. Um, but it's not a permanent uh, solution. It's something that'll allow you to shoot the gun again, pump it up and shoot it. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, then this is a success. The alcohol flush worked. Now, I did two other 
rifles at roughly the same time. This is the uh, Sheridan Streak 1970, and it didn't have any compression, and so I couldn't get any um, alcohol into the compression chamber to flush it through. Uh, and this is after sitting it in the corner and doing the alcohol treatment, uh, I don't know, three, four times. So what I did is I took the front end apart, cleaned the tube, and, and replaced the pump cup, and then I got compression. So this one works like it should. The thing is, it suffers from that same problem as that 312. Well, okay. So you can see that's uh, leaking out past the uh, check valve, although it's a slow leak with the pump cup closed here. Uh, the air doesn't come up past the pump cup very much, so this will hold overnight. Uh, we also did a third gun. This is a 342, Benjamin 342, and this one, um, we did the alcohol flush and we started to get some compression, but I noticed as I pumped, I could hear air actually coming back up the tube past the pump cup, so um, I did pull the front end off and clean the tube and put a new pump cup in and now it pumps and this one now that's probably headspace there and we'll have to let it sit overnight see if the arm comes all the way up that would be the check valve but it's not uh, behaving like the other two guns and um, this one actually held air now for uh, about a week. So we have three different guns. They all uh, benefited from the alcohol flush. The most was this uh, 342 with a pump cup replacement and the 312 just as it is with the alcohol flush went from uh, no compression to now where it's an operating uh, pumper. So, if your pumper isn't pumping, try the alcohol flush. It won't hurt anything and just might help.